Hello everyone, welcome to Essential Updates and today I'm going to talk about the science portion of the T6 exam. I'm going to help you out what to basically focus on especially when you start studying for your T6. So I will mention everything that I can remember and this is kind of a long list so if you have a pen and paper definitely grab them so that you can just write it down and then know all the details with the one that I will be mentioning today because this is very important that will help you get a higher score in the science part. Alright so we will get started. Um, Alright so know your cellular uh, organelles know the immune system, uh, function of the kidneys, function of the lungs, function of neurons, all right? And hydrogen bonds with what? All right, know that one too. So basically hydrogen goes with a DNA. So they go together. So when they're talking about hydrogen, you know, definitely know that it would it will go with DNA. Right, what kind of bonds were involved in S2O versus H2O? So it's more likely the um, something like ionic or intermolecular bond. So search for that one so you will know more information about that. Um, what muscles cause hair to stand up? All right, that's very interesting. So like if you get scared um, or if you, you know, mostly when you get scared, you know, your, um, your hair, your hair stand up like in your um, arms. So know that one, what muscles. Um, what makes a good hypothesis? And learn how to reverse a DNA strand from 5 to 3 and then 3 to 5. All right, so just change the A to T and then the C, uh, the G, the G to C. Okay, so example of condensation. So um, search that one in Google, like what are the examples, examples of condensation? So the one that I know, like for example, water on the leaves, like in your plant, plant you know, those are the example. I mean, basically one of the example and what is an example of chemical change with water All right know that one too know where the fertilization occurs know the blood circulation of the heart now this is very important guys so for example the blood will go to the superior vena cava so where will it go next or if the blood will go to your right ventricle where will it go next so stuff like that so with me with how I remember that one I just draw the heart you know and and then I label you know where it goes um, uh, and so on so it will easily make you remember when you draw that one and then know which part and function of the systems Know what enzymes break down what. So example of this one is the amylase um, breaks down starch. And also know the um, if when the food comes to our small intestine and what break down, you know, what, what will it break down or what will occur on that part. Okay, so know that stuff and then know the gastrola. Um, uh, know the meiosis, know the zygote, uh, which is uh, fertilization, and what do all cells have in common? So know that too. Know the electrons, um, know the layers of the skin, know the what ribosomes are, like what their functions. Uh, know the uh, how to balance a chemistry um, equation so during my exam I have to balance at least one so know the vitamin that protects you from UV light okay that's important a little bit of uh, the face of matter and know the main function of the lymphatic circulation so just basically read about that and like the Function, the main function is for filtering 
you know, the balance of water, fluid to our body. And study your hormones, guys, because a lot of my questions are with regards to hormones. So definitely know them and um, familiarize them as well. Okay, and a sequence in which bones repair itself, know that one too. The reproductive system of male and female, your thyroid, what is the function of it, and then the glands like the adrenal, the pancreas gland, I know the functions of that too. And then know what type of bone is the skull. All right, so those are the very um, important part that you will have to remember when you study. Make sure you get familiar with those. And also another tip that I can give to you, I know there's a lot of memorizations um, with anatomy one and two or the science part of the T. So one tip is to do a mnemonic. So for example, if you want to, you know, memorize or remember the order of elementary canal, um, I always remember PESLA. So it's P-E-S-S-L-A. So it's, um, it starts with pharynx, esophagus, stomach, goes down to small intestine to large intestine, and then the last part will be the anus. So... Hey guys, um, I did give you everything I can remember uh, with, um, you know, these are the basic knowledge and information that you will need to, you know, for the science portion of the exam. And if you have more questions, definitely comment below and I will answer all the questions that you have in mind and so that I can help you out because I know how the T's, um, is very tough and it was tough for me and I want to help a lot of people as much as I can so we can get a higher score all right thank you for your time god bless until next time bye